Many Muslims live in non-Muslim, mostly Western countries. They should do their best to adopt a specific lifestyle through which they can practice their religion freely. Muslims must opt for places that are not too close to sinful and lustful places such as nightclubs, discos, pubs, and beaches. Even if they do, they should try their best to distance themselves from these places. If they're living in a city where it is almost impossible to avoid sin and practice their religion freely, they must move to another city. Nevertheless, in whichever city they choose to live in, the means for sin will always exist. Therefore, they should try to avoid sin and practice taqwa at all times. Another crucial factor one must consider when living in a Western country is the job they find. Muslims must try to find jobs that are halal and do not go against Islamic Sharia. For example, working in a restaurant that serves pork and alcohol is prohibited for a Muslim. Muslims must avoid such jobs. A few suitable jobs would be working as a doctor, engineer, teacher, accountant, and even a mechanic. Another important issue that all Muslims living in a non-Muslim country must consider is halal food. They should try to find groceries and stores that sell halal food, especially halal meat. If Muslims in these countries are unable to find halal meat, they must follow a vegetarian diet. The best thing to do, however, is to make sure the city they want to live in has places where halal meat is sold. When their children grow up and reach school age, they should enroll them in Islamic schools if there exists any in their city. Otherwise, enrolling them in private schools is a much wiser choice than enrolling them in public schools. This is because in public schools, kids are influenced by their peers much more than in private schools. Kids who go to public schools are usually badly behaved, unlike kids in private schools who are more well behaved. In general, parents who live in Western countries must be more conscious of their child and their upbringing because the environment is mostly anti-Islamic. But what matters the most for Muslims who live in Western countries is going to a mosque or Islamic center in their city where prayers are performed in congregation. There are certain Islamic centers in different cities where, other than the routine congregational prayers, there are also programs for different occasions, such as the birth or martyrdom of the Prophet and the Ahd al-Bayt, peace be upon them. Muslims who attend such gatherings will be able to safeguard their religious beliefs more than those who do not attend such gatherings. Moreover, the Imam of the mosque or Islamic center can offer them much advice and counsel them on many of their problems in life. Muslim women must observe full hijab when interacting with others. They should cover their hair and bodies from non-mahram men irrespective of whether they are Muslim or non-Muslim men. This is probably the greatest challenge that Muslim women living in Western countries face. Likewise, men should also control themselves and not fall into sinful activities and relationships, especially with the opposite gender. All in all, living in a Western country as a Muslim while practicing Islam could prove challenging. However, it is perfectly possible. Muslims who live in non-Muslim countries must be much more careful and wary of their conduct than Muslims who live in Muslim countries. Inevitably, practicing the religion of Islam in a non-Muslim country proves to be much more difficult than living in a Muslim country. Nevertheless, some Muslims find living in Western countries more comfortable, possibly due to their better financial status and the facilities that those countries offer.